how to make men to go wild for you with soft feminine energy. Yes, ladies, soft feminine energy can make any man, any man fall in love with you and they can go wild crazy for you. Why? Basically because men, they are not used to nowadays to encounter me women that are feminine, that they are open, that they are warm. Usually when they encounter is women that are like burnt out, that are feeling exhausted, that hate men. So of course, if he meets you and you are a beautiful, sexy goddess that is warm and is sweet and approachable, trust me, one million percent, he's gonna like be obsessed with you, okay? I'm talking about, I always talk about in my channel, high value man, okay? I don't talk about dusties, predators, or guys that are not good for us, cheaters, or whatever it is, no. I talk about healthy, masculine men, okay? Because if you are watching my channel, most likely you are a healthy, feminine woman who will attract a healthy, masculine man, okay? So yes, I always speak, I spoke about this in so many of my videos, that outside you have to be vanilla and inside you have to be chocolate. So this means that outside, you have to be open, you have to be sweet, you have to be approachable, you have to be warm. And inside, you have to be chocolate because you have to be strong and to know your boundaries and to know like what you accept, what you don't, okay? So this is the main mistake so many women make. They are chocolate in the outside and vanilla in the inside. So that would mean that chocolate in the outside, you are like, heart and like you know like not mean but like non-approachable and like feeling like you are better than anyone and have you seen these women that they feel like they are divas yes i'm always tell you feel like a sexy beautiful goddess that doesn't mean that you are a diva and that you are better than anyone else this is not what i mean i mean that i want you to feel like in your power that you are beautiful that you love yourself that you feel comfortable in your skin this is what i want you to feel Feel like a beautiful, sexy goddess. Don't feel like a diva that th she thinks that is better than anyone else. And you have this attitude of like, mm, no, I don't want you to be like this because like this lady, nobody's going to approach you. Okay. So, so many women, they are chocolate in the outside. They are like this, like non-approachable at all. And then, and then when someone sneaks in and usually who will go for these women, who will go for these women, the predator men. Yes, ladies, this is insane, but this is how it works. Predator men, they go for these ladies that they feel like they are divas, and this because they know that if you have to put this wall like so high for no one to approach you, it's because you are so weak inside, you are so vanilla inside, that they know, they know all the tricks to sneak in your chocolate and get to your vanilla and then it's like um, game over for you. Because if you are vanilla in the outside and you are so approachable and, and like, you know, like you feel empowered and you, you know what you want and, but you are sweet and approachable in this, these predator men, they will run away from you. These narcissist men, narcissist, I mean, people, they call it narcissist. I never like, I don't know, like narcissist, I think you have to be diagnosed, but okay. You know how it is nowadays in the internet. Everyone is talking about narcissists. Okay, so these predator men, because I like to call them predators, they will never approach a woman who is vanilla in the outside because they will be so scared of a woman like this. And I had men, oh my God, ladies, I had men when I was like so like, clear and like being open and telling them like what I want and how like you know like feeling it like really like I can be open I can put my heart in the table I can be vulnerable and like be myself and these men they will tell me like I feel so confused like usually women are not like this why he's feeling confused first of all those men they were predators because they when they were trying to touch me like my body was like Ey. I was like oh no, don't touch me. So 
always listen to your body as i always say listen to your body because if you are like cringing when someone is trying to touch you touch your hand or whatever it is oh my god lady ran away but anyway so so these men they were feeling so confused by me because they're used to women being divas and being like no oh, it's okay i don't want anything i just go with the flow and um, no so when they encounter a woman for for sure these two men they never call me again thanks god so because yeah they saw it that no if you are open and vulnerable it's because you are so strong inside and you have boundaries so i don't need to put a wall so big that no one can enter my castle no because honestly i have a key i there is a key i don't need to put a wall like inside in my heart there is a key and if you don't have that key there is no way on earth you're gonna enter like i know my boundaries i know what i like what i don't like and it's okay i can let you in the backyard you know we can meet in my little backyard in my little garden full of flowers and be happy and i can tell you all what i'm looking for but it doesn't mean you're gonna enter in my bedroom <laughs> like no way that key i only have that key and that key i will only give that key to the man that will win it oh my god wasn't it beautiful like i feel so inspired today honestly i was feeling a little bit sick in the morning but i'm feeling so inspired so yes, ladies, this is the thing that you don't need to like actually be chocolate in the outside and be like a diva. No, you can be like really, uh, you can be like approachable. So yes, when you are soft, when you are warm, when you are feminine, men will go wild. So I want you to always be inviting. I want you to always be approachable. Like when they, someone messes you, like when the guy texts you, I want you to be open and make him a party. I always say it, but it's always true. When the guy messaged me, I'm like, oh my God, it's so nice to receive your message. Like you made my day. Did he make my day? Okay, most probably no. Like I have other things, but I made him feel like a hero. I made him happy, like which that's beautiful. And of course, he's going to want to message me again because he will be like, oh, yes, I'm going to message her because I make her so happy. And yes, he will always want to message me. That's why men, they always text me like nonstop. They text me because uh, I make them a party when they come to me. I'm approachable. I'm open. But if they cross the line, I'm not shy to say like, no, this doesn't feel good to me. So I want you always also to use like feeling statements. But don't do that. I've seen so many women, they say that, I feel that you did this. No, I feel that you were very, I don't know, uh, manipulative or whatever. No, this doesn't work like this. Feeling a statement is that what happened made me feel so uncomfortable. That's it. I'm not blaming anyone. I'm just saying I'm feeling so uncomfortable. You know, waiting makes me feel so uncomfortable. Waiting makes me feel so sad and it just fr frustrates me a, a lot. So I'm not saying like you were late and you made me feel sad. No, I'm saying I felt sad. Like just fix it, you know, men, they will fix it because men, they are problem solvers. So always speak in feeling statements. Like when the guy is texting you, you receive him with love, you make him a party, as I said, and then you open, like you speak in feeling a statement. Like he tells you, how was your day? You don't say like, oh my God, I had this a horrible day with my balls. And like, okay, yes, you, okay, listen, you can share your negative things, but isn't it better if you say that I went out for a walk and it was so sunny and it felt so nice. I just loved it so much, you see? So when he's texting you, you can do this. And if you wanna share something negative, of course you can, but just ask him, are you open for me to share something that is bothering me? You know, like ask him where he's at because maybe he's busy or he's in the car and you're going to start complaining and he's not going to give you the attention you want and you're going to get upset. So it's going to be worse always. But I do this even with, fr with friends like, do you mind if I vent a little? Like, I just need to release these emotions from me. Like, is it okay for you? And if they say yes, okay, then you go ahead and you say like, oh, I felt so sad because this, this and this. Okay. Because sometimes we share things with people 
And texting, for example, is not the best way to share those things because texting is just for checking in, like, hey, how are you? How is this? You know, a small little talk. You don't have to like have like huge conversations in text while you are texting. No, this you get on the phone or you meet the person in person. Okay. So yes, um, feminine energy, soft feminine energy will make any man high value man, high value man, go wild, okay? Like they will be crazy about you. So just try it out. Let me know if it works, which of course it will. <laughs>